I need some powder. There you go. He's gonna get it. Now thank you for your art. Get your own gloves. Mel Science. Hi, this is Daddy with Caleb's Toy Box. We're going to try us a chemistry science set. We have two of them here, so let me just explain it a little bit. All right, so you can go to the Mel website and find everything you need. Mel, Mel Science website, and we'll have that at the bottom of the description to go to. Uh, so we want to thank Mel for sending this to us uh, to try this little set out. Now, there are a few things that come with it. This is a starter kit. So we're just going to kind of go through them real quick and everything, see what they're all is in it and then we'll choose which one we're going to do. So you have this one here, uh, which is a chemistry of monsters. So it looks like on the back it tells you all the chemicals that come with it, all the stuff you got to have to do the uh, chemistry uh, process. So on the inside here it has a uh, layout of basically everything you need. Now we're, going, we're not going to do this one because it has a couple things that you got to have with it that we currently don't have. Um, also, it comes with two cards. It just kind of shows you what they do. So you got like a sugar snake and then a burning sugar. Uh, it gives you a difficulty level, it gives you a danger level, and the duration of what it takes to get it done. And you need goggles and gloves. Yep, goggles and gloves. Got to have goggles and gloves and adult supervision. So and then on the back it gives you the directions to do it. Different chemicals that you're putting in it. So we're not going to do this one today because uh, we don't have a couple of things that it requires, which it shows on the back of this box of what it requires, which is granulated salt, sugar cube, and matches. We do not have no sugar cube, but that's okay. We will get to it. We will show you guys a video with it. All right, now the starter kit. I started off right off into a kitten, and now we're on the starter kit. So next, this is the one we're doing, by the way. All right, so. The starter kit basically has everything that you, the general items that you would need to conduct a male chemi chemistry subscription experiment. You got a starter kit manual, virtual reality headset, um, which is this here, which I don't know if we need it for this particular uh, science project that we're doing, but it could come in handy with some of the other projects that you can find online and see what goes with this. Uh, you got hot pots, uh, stove, 50 plastic cups, you got all kinds of stuff. If you remember being in chem chemistry class, you'll know all this stuff and what it is. It's, it's pretty cool. But we're not going to use a whole lot of this stuff today because we're just doing the basic set. If you go to mailscience.com, uh, you can get you a starter kit and two chemistry sets just for subscribing. Then, every month you will get two new experiment sets. Uh, you can do science on the weekends, uh, it breaks down everything on the website, what the starter kit is, what you, what you come with, what comes with it. Uh, there's 38 sets uh, containing a series of experiments on certain topics. Um, so go check out the website and uh, see what it is. Uh, I don't have the information on the monthly subscription, but I'm sure that once you get all that going, uh, you can figure it out. So, what's in the starter kit? All right, well. You got a periodic table. You know what a periodic table is? Yeah. A lot of people don't. But if you take a chemistry class and you know a little bit about the periodic table, you get an experiment tray, so where you can do all your little experiments. Safety goggles. Very vital to what we are going to do. You're going to get one, and I'm going to get one to put them on right now. Good? All right, we're good. Got the safety goggles. And plugs. We don't need no plugs for this experiment, but as you can see, it comes in with cup, beaker, uh, funnel, uh, little thing to shoot chemicals at your brother and sister when you, no, don't do that. Don't shoot chemicals at your brother and sister when you're, anyway, uh, he's got all kinds of cool little stuff. Um, I don't know what this is. A, it's a tray. Directions have everything. This has a lot of, it has everything that you need for all their chemistry sets. 
basic starter kit. Um, we won't use a lot of this for this because we're on the very first starter kit part that comes in. So, except for the tray, we are going to use the tray and the goggles. We are going to use the goggles. So, this Always can be use set your goggles. aside. And the one that we are going to do today is the tin. Now, in the tin, all you will need outside of what already comes with it's it is four AAA batteries. Outside of that, everything else is in here. Do we have four AAA batteries? I'm going to get them. <laughs> Mama's going to go get the four AAA batteries. All right, so here we go. You see it? Ready? Yeah. Bam. <laughs> That's cool, huh? All right. Now, this is called tin. All right. So, basically, it has a card, and it explains what it is. This is a tin hedgehog. 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 It kind of shows you a picture. So with some chemical reactions, we're going to make a head chop. Uh, it tells you the safety, wear productive gloves, and I wear a conductive experiment on tray. So we got the tray, got our experiment. This particular product here you can dispose with regular household products, so it's not going to hurt anything. But uh, wear gloves, wear your eyeglasses, don't take any risk, it's not worth it. And then you have this one right here, which is a tin dendrite. What's a tin gen? It looks like a dendrite to me. You know what a dendrite is? No. What's a dendrite? I don't know what it is. Am I saying that right? Do you know what a dendrite is? You're blind. It looks like we're going to be making a tree. <laughs> a metal tree. Yeah. Bah! The set that we're going to do. It comes with all the chemicals and such that you need within this particular experiment. And including. Four and four batteries. That did not come with the set. Mommy got those for us. So you'll have to produce, uh, provide those for your yeah. So we got this. We got our jumper cables. Whoa! Uh, miniature that jumper cables. Cool. Yep, one jump from here to here. That looks cool. Two for end reaction. You got some pins, and I know we're supposed to poke holes in something. Got some tray. Beacon tables that also come in this set. And our gloves. Do we need to put our gloves on? Yes. We should put our gloves on. Let's put our gloves on. <laughs> Alright, you got to hang them up. <laughs> I understand. Okay, so now we're going to start with the first chemical. We're going to do the hedgehog. Um, now here's what we're going to do. On the back, it gives you a chemical there to use. It tells you all the different things that you need. So we need a tube. Bubble fingers. <laughs> Your gloves are huge. <laughs> and we need, I need our chemical set. So you got it's all together, and there's four of them. There you go. And then we need Don't our know. liquid soap and our zinc, which it says on the bottom what they are. <laughs> We're going to take our NAHSO. Can you find the NAHSO, which is sodium? Do you see it? Yep. All right, so on the bottom it says NAHSO. So it's sodium, hydrogen. I love science. I'm gonna say sulfite. Sulfur. So you got sodium. I can, I can. Hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen times four oxygen. So pretty crazy chemical. <coughs> And then, of course, you got a whole bunch of other mumbo jumbo on this one that you can look up on your own. Alright, it's got two waters in it. Two H2Os. I guarantee it. It says it right there, two waters. Alright. Okay. Next, here's what we're going to do. You see what it's telling us to do? Mm -hmm. It's telling us to pour this whole bottle here into this bottle here. Okay. So this is where you got to do the, uh, the pin. So this is what them pins are for. Alright, now hold this over this and pour it in there. The whole bottle, right over the top. There you go. Oh, oh, hold it in there, put it in there. There we go, now squeeze it in. There we go, until it's all empty, yep. Now let's see if you're all right. So we got that all in there. Now it's telling us to put the lid back on it. The red lid, do not use the green lid. It says use the red lid. Now we shake it for one minute. Ready? Hold on, let me make sure it's tight. One minute? Parent, just make sure it ain't gonna leak anywhere. And then you can hand it to your kid and shake it for one minute. Go, go, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. 
shake, shake, shake. Shake your tube. Shake your tube of chemicals. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. shake your tube. Now, he's shaking and Tell baking. Tell me to stop. And we're going to do what it says to do next, which is grab the zinc. So you got little zinc tablets in here. It's pretty cool, like legit zinc tablets. This is hurting. And we got to have our vial. All right, it's been 60 seconds. Okay. Now, so you shake it up for a minute. And you open it up here. And the next direction is to fill it half full. Ooh. All right, so ooh. All right, so we're about half full there. All right, so we'll put this back on here. Then it's telling us to drop our zinc tablet inside here. In here? Yeah. Wonder if it Hold your hand open. No, other hand. There we go. There. No, hold it. Don't move. Nope, don't move. Now we'll put everything back. Always put all your lids back up. Right after you use it. Just do it right in front of there. Alright, so you drop the zinc tablet inside of here. Ready? Yep. Alright, so drop it there. What is that? And then I place the lid back on it. And you basically just wait for it to turn into a hedgehog. Or it'll react. definitely had a reaction to it and it's just pushing out the zinc is expanding basically I see it. yeah so what we'll do So that was pretty neat. We had a slight chemical reaction with the zinc and the other chemicals, the sulfur and the, uh, not sulfur, but well, we might have had sulfur. What does that stand for? Yeah, sulfur. So we had sodium and sulfur and hydrogen and oxygen and all came together with the zinc and it caused this little reaction here that caused it to look like a hedgehog or like little porcupines coming out. So, so that's pretty cool. So guess what guys? got three more experiments that we can do. So we're not going to do them all in one video because we want you to come back and see what's going on next. So we can do either the 10 Dinrat, which is growing a tree, or the other ones, which we haven't gone through yet, but if 
requires a few more things and has a little bit more reaction and the danger level gets higher as you go. Uh, yep, they call me Aaron Knight the Science Guy, so what about you? Caleb Science Dude. They call you Caleb Science Dude? Alright, well I don't know if Aaron Knight the Science Guy is going to work, but I'm going to control the room. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so check it out, watch it, go in there, subscribe and get you a chemistry set and you know enjoy it it's, it's fun it's simple it's something that you know it says ages 12 and up caleb he's he's eight and this is perfectly fine for him so you know i mean it's it's, as long it's as kind of yeah as long as there's a parent around you know your kid to get a kick out of watching this right, guys so next time we'll go on to experiment number two you ready to do experiment number two <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jeez. all right so Comment on the video, let us know what you think of the Cool Science Project. Go to themelscience.com and check out the chemistry sets. Uh, some fun, simple that you can do with your kids. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. I always enjoyed science a long time ago. Uh, just starting to kind of get back into it now that we got this. So uh, thank you, Mel Science, uh, for sending us this to check it out. Uh, we appreciate it and look forward to doing more cool science project with Aaron and I, the science guy, and Caleb the science dude. Y'all have a good day. Next time on Caleb 